Uh, Sarah, in reference to the President's tweets this morning that have been a matter of some discussion today, you said earlier on Fox News that the President has a right to defend himself when he is attacked, and it's no secret that this particular program has been very critical of him. However, the nature of the tweets this morning has drawn condemnation from people on Capitol Hill, including the Speaker of the House, Senator Graham, Senator Susan Collins, all of whom are allies of the President. Did, did the President go too far with this tweet in its deeply personal nature? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I think that the President has been uh, attacked mercilessly on personal accounts by members on that program. And I think he's been very clear that when he gets attacked, uh, he's going to hit back. I think the American people elected somebody who's tough, who's smart, and who's a fighter. And that's Donald Trump. And I don't think that it's a surprise to anybody that he fights fire with fire. Uh, the things that this show has called him, and not just him, but a numerous members of his staff, including myself and many others, uh, are very deeply personal. So to then turn and pretend like, uh, you know, this approach is, uh, I, I guess it's kind of like we're living in the twilight zone. They do this day after day after day, and then uh, the president responds and defends himself, and everybody is appalled and blown away. It, frankly, um, if this had happened in the previous administration, the type of attacks launched on this program, uh, the things they say, utterly stupid, personality disorder, mentally ill, constant personal attacks, calling multiple members liars, liars to their faces while they're sitting on their programs, the rest of the media would have said, guys, no way, hold on. But nobody does that. But the president, he's not going to step back. He's showed that, and that's exactly what he did today. If I, if I could just follow on that, Sarah, if I could just follow on that. A, a, a couple of the criticisms from supporters of the president have been that this particular tweet was beneath the dignity of the office. Where does the president draw that line on the dignity of the office? Look, I, I, I think that um, he shows that every day in the decisions that he's making, the focus and the priorities he's laid out in his agenda. Uh, but he's not going to sit back and be attacked by the liberal media, Hollywood elites, and when they hit him, he's going to hit back. Sarah. 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 I have a health care question, but on this, just one other aspect of it. Some have suggested in their tweet response or public announcements today that the president misconstrued one of the messages that should have been gathered from the shooting that involved Steve Scalise and others, that the hostility of the verbal environment can create an atmosphere of violence. I'm not saying that, but members of Congress have said that about this particular tweet. I know that episode affected the President and those here at the White House personally very importantly and, and deeply. Do you have any reaction to that sentiment that conversations like this create an atmosphere that is either dangerous or one we need to avoid? The President in no way, uh, form or fashion has ever uh, promoted or encouraged violence, if anything, quite the contrary. And he was simply uh, pushing back and defending himself. So the, 